So, Vegas. You want to animate on Vegas. So first off, why choose Vegas? Premiere Pro is way more superior. Not only that, but you'll also be more respected by those tech geeks on Reddit. However, however, aside from the fact that Vegas is way cheaper than those Adobe products, a fact that some people might disregard, it's way more user-friendly. Seriously, even a kid could learn Vegas. I mean, look at its interface. It looks exactly like Windows Movie Maker. Anyway, with all that said, here's a really easy tutorial on Vegas. Okay, so now we're in Vegas Pro 16. Just a really, really quick introduction on basics, and then we'll go ahead with the things I'll teach you. So, there are three parts in Vegas, and I'm not an expert, so I made up these terms, but uh, these three parts are the resources, the preview, and the layer thingy. So basically, the resources are where you store your media. You can go to File, Import, Media to import your stuff. But if you're lazy like me, you can go over to your folders and simply drag and drop them to Vegas. Now you're free to drag and drop your stuff onto the layer thingy. You can view your work in the preview. Now this preview can have different types of quality. From draft to best, you can select the lowest to highest quality. But be careful though, if your PC is as trash as mine, it's gonna go really slow and crashy if your settings are too high. Resources. Now for the resources, you really don't need the other tabs, just media, video effects, and project media. We don't need Explorer because I don't know what it does, and we also don't need Transitions because just look at it, it's so old-fashioned and, and boomer. So there are two tracks, but what are tracks? An artist can compare it to layers in Photoshop. There can be as many as you like, and you can drag and drop your stuff over these layers. So there are two types, video and audio. You can drag your images and videos to the video track and your audio to the audio track, of course. Now let's get to the animation part, the moment you have been waiting for. You can simply drag and drop your stuff onto this layer thingy. It's automatically gonna create a new track. And then right click and press Video Event Pan Crop. By dragging the corner of this box thingy, you can resize this but also, when you look at the thing here below, you're able to pan it. So by double-clicking on the line, you can create keyframes. So I'm going to demonstrate, for instance, if you want to move this from here to here, in the first keyframe, you're gonna move it all the way here, and in the second keyframe, right here. So when you play it, there's also another type of animating, and it is masking. It's what those anime editors do. It's also in the bottom right here, and it's basically gonna let you choose which part of the image is visible. If you click on mask, it's gonna switch into another set of tools here. I selected the anchor creation tool, and basically selected this area here. Now it's the only one that's visible. First thing you should do is drag it onto the layer thingy and create a duplicate by adding it again on a separate track. And then create a mask on the image on top and mask his arm. Do the same with the image beneath, except this time set the mask to negative. I cleaned it up. I also put the anchor thingy on his elbow, like so. And beneath these layers, added a solid white color from the media generator. So now we're done. So you can check out my other videos. Uh, you can give this a like and, you know, comment and subscribe. And yeah, thank you. Uh, goodbye, brodies.